This is the S&P 500 one day reading for September 12th, 2022. It's currently uh, August 13th, 2022, 10.38 p.m. Um, before we get into it, guys, we've got a Kickstarter running. Go please check out our Kickstarter. Um, we're, we built a financial astrology chart application. You can look at stocks and uh, crypto on this chart, um, and it gives you a ton of relevant astrological data, both for relevant to the stock or whatever chart you're looking at, but also specific to you and your birth chart. Um, so this is on Kickstarter right now running. Um, go support the channel, guys. We put out a lot of free content. We much appreciate the return favor. Um, so, uh, with that said, the overall theme and behavior, we meet a resistance level, um, and from the resistance level, we break down with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down. Um, they, those spikes up will meet resistance generally at uh, moving averages, and the moving averages are generally going to be in a bearish formation. Um, looks like there's no fast sudden move to meet the high. There's like a high and maybe we missed the fast sudden move or it doesn't, you know what it is? There's a fast sudden move to meet the high, but it's nullified. So that big move higher is retraced most likely. Um, and then the behavior around the low, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to dip to and through a support level. And then we turn around and we, um, revisit that support level, reestablishing it as support. Um, that'll be the behavior into the day's low. Uh, we have a couple cross congruencies here, guys. Um, so first off, we've got the Princess of Wands um, for the trade correlator. And when we look at the one month overview for September, we have um, the high, the local high on the 12th um, is the Princess of Wands. So what I mean by local high is when you're looking at a one day chart of the 12th, there'll be a prominent high on there and it'll offer an opportunity to open up a short position or protect against long positions. All right, so early in the morning, uh, out of the day's first slow, we have sideways fluctuations with a bullish trend that precedes a, a decline. That bullish trend continues into the open where we have a, a, a notable move higher, um, either from being overbought, uh, oversold, or there's like a, a bit of a gap down that needed to be filled. Um, and so a uh, trade opportunity right at the open, another trade opportunity looks like um, bumping up against resistance now so there's one trade opportunity so far it's in the first half hour probably like right around the open but um when, we're, when we when we meet resistance right there in that first half hour let's say in that first hour and a half um that's where it'd be a good opportunity to open up a short position or protect against long positions we will poke through the same price level three times before before 11 o'clock and on that third poke through the same price level will drop pretty sharply um, it's a, there's a brief opportunity there, guys. So likely, uh, I placed that trade earlier rather than later. Um, brief opportunity, um, and so from that sharp dip down, uh, we meet a day's low, another day's low, somewhere around like between let's say ten and eleven ish. Um, we revisit a significant or a, a recent past opportunity at a support level. Um, when we have a period of sideways rotation with a sharp dip within that period of sideways rotation, that takes place between, let's say, 11 and 1. Um, there's a key support level. Um, on a one-day chart, there's a key support level that's highlighted as well around, let's say, between 11 and 1. Closer to 11 than 1, but somewhere in there. Um, and it looks like it's, there's a possibility that we actually establish new support there. Um, so we fall hard and then we come back and we establish new support there um, where we fall part, uh, hard and we need support. But my sense is that there's a, uh, we go from a low uh, to a crest real quick. And that crest would be around like 11.30ish, 11.30ish, 12 o'clock around that ish-ish time. Um, and then... Yeah, it looks like there may be like a bit of a rally higher along a diagonal trend line and break through a horizontal resistance to meet a secondary resistance before pulling back. Um, and that's where that crest would form, it, it, it appears. Not necessarily a day's high, but a crest. Um, and then around 
one to one to two ish somewhere in there we have a decline t uh, through through a support level to meet a secondary support level and then we bounce along sideways along that support level um, until we start doing some erratic behavior uh, around like two to three o'clock um, there's another crest in there around 145 by the way but it, it, it's revisited in the midst of some erratic behavior um, back and forth through the same price level um, there's a crest in there, in there that we revisit that was a past a recent past opportunity and then um, looks like we have in the midst of that erratic behavior um, which continues into the last hour it looks like we go from a, a tr another trough a day's trough here uh, a day's trough like right around the close to some price swings um, bullish price rings right around the close um, possibly with like a uh, along a diagonal trend line and breaking through horizontal resistance and then in the post market it looks like there's a rally that continues out of that that end of day trough um, and some sideways rotation we meet a nearest resistance and then break uh, pull back down to that sideways rotation along support uh, sneak preview for the following days the devil card is nullified however meaning that uh, it's there's a there's just there's a likely a fake out on the 13th we'll take a look and when we get into that um that's the s p 500 for september 12 2022 my friends um hit that like button if you want, want to see more of this uh, much appreciated for subscribing and uh, share with your friends so you think it'll help my friends uh most importantly when you make money from this reading take a little bit of that money that you made pay it forward keep the flow going all right Take a little bit of that money that you made and pay it back to Capriveb at Cash App for my team. Uh, gratitude begets gratitude, my friends. And then take the rest of it and do what you got to do with it as long as it's out of love. And I'll see you on the next one, guys.